Welcome everybody to my first retro playthrough. Uh, we're doing a game called Quest for Glory, which used to be called Heroes Quest, but had to be renamed for copyright reasons. This is a game that uh, I know from my childhood. And I've always wanted to do like a little playthrough of it, so I figured I would uh, do a little let's play and then um, see what everybody thinks of it. Um, there seems to be a little bit of a demand for these old retro games and playthroughs, and this is one of my favorites, so we're gonna check it out. Uh, my name is Nacho, and you can catch me on Twitch at Nacho Bear and all the uh, usual uh, socials as well. Okay, so let's get into this. What floor did I? Okay. Why is this freaking out on me? Ah, there we go. Helps if I hit the wrong button, or the right button, sorry. Okay, let's do the introduction quickly here. I think it's just a lot of uh, past and credits and that stuff, but we'll uh, we'll take a look at it. Back in the day, this little scene here blew my mind with this dragon coming out of the uh, tombstone and breathing fire, quest for glory, so you want to be a hero. And then of course, the icon iconic music for the game as you can now hear playing. I don't know if there's a way to click through this, but we'll just listen to the music and then that'll bring us to our create a character segment. Um, and basically that is going to let us choose between three different classes. There's a fire, there's a mage, and then there's a thief. I typically always fight with the uh, thief that was always my favorite class just you seem to be able to get into a lot of trouble and get to places that uh, the other people never got to see so that's kind of why I always picked the thief back then I mean let's face it it's, it's just more fun it's a, it's a lucrative class you can make a lot of money with it um, and like I said you can get to places that you probably normally wouldn't be able to get there with any other characters uh, but yes, it looks like we have to watch the um, credits here. Which is fine. Okay, so here we go. So you want to be a hero. We gotta select our character. Why isn't... Okay, there we go. So we've got the thief, we got the fighter, and we have the mage in the middle here. Things are running a little choppier. Hopefully once we get into the game, it's not too bad. I think it's just this menu part that might be... Having a bit of a, a hiccup here and there. Okay, so we've picked a thief. And this was always the cool part. Oh, we get to name ourselves too. Um, what do we want to name ourselves? Can we name ourselves? I thought we could name ourselves. Okay, here we go. Um, let's call ourselves Lord Nacho. Otherwise, they just refer us to, to the hero, which is not a what is not a big deal either. Uh, let's put so the thief is the only um, is the only category that you can max out all of your different categories. So we're gonna put something in everything, and then the cool thing about the game is you can always learn to do things. Magic is hard to learn though, so let's boost that up a little bit. Um, I think there's a trick here where you can get a little bit more. So if we put that into something else, and we take this as a, off of parry, it gives us more. And then we can put some on there. Put some on there. Does that work? I think that gave us a little extra. Maybe. Maybe not. But anyways, that's what we're going to start with. As we play the game, we can uh, improve things. Oh, we still have five points available. Oh, um... How do we put that into magic? Oh god. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're gonna start the game. Let's see how uh, poor, nicely or poorly this game runs. Alright, so here we go. A lot of text in this game too, by the way. This seems like a quiet little town. On the porch ahead of you are two people. The standing one is large, rather ugly, and playing with a yo-yo. The seated person smoking a pipe looks like he might be the sheriff. See, and I remember when they had these, like, graphic 
faces talking. This was also like revolutionary for when I was a little toddler. Welcome to our town. You are lucky to have made it down from the mountains before the snow blocked the pass again. So basically we're blocked in by the snow. It's gotten pretty dangerous outside of, outside of town, I understand. Many monsters have been trapped around here with the late snow. Between them and the, the brigands, we certainly could use a hero around here. Aha, enter Lord Nacho. I am Sheriff Schultz, Minstressen. We'll just call him Sh Sh Schultz. Schultz is good. This is Otto Van Goon. Oh, good luck in your quest. Apparently you only have a finite amount of time to read things. Okay, so basically now you have different icons. You can look at things, talk to people, ask them about certain things. And sometimes, depending on what you ask them, so the Baron keeps mostly to himself at the castle here. Um, basically, it's the, the Baron's daughter, I think, is gone missing, and we will find that out soon. And then we can just talk about the different things. And again, sometimes this gives us points, and other times it just doesn't do a whole lot, so... So let's walk around. Uh, how do we increase increase our speed? I think if we just hit the plus button, it'll, it'll boost this up quicker too. Uh, save. Starting out. Out. Yeah, so if we hit the plus button, it just makes us go faster. So let's go into the inn. So here is our little Catan. Catan? I forget what these people are called, this race. The Hero Tales and Shamin. Shamin is, uh, becomes one of your good allies as you play the game. And Shima is her brother? One is a brother, one is a sister. I don't remember which is which. Okay, but if we sit down, please don't touch. Oh, there we go. So then they summon Shima. Yeah, so Shima is the sister, as you can tell by the outfit. Okay, so basically you can get food or drink from them, or just ask about things. Uh, we can ask about a room. Uh, five silvers, you have to, okay, a bed. Food. Newborn lamb along with honey chicken for a mere three silvers. Coffee is included in the price of the meal. I don't think you have to eat in this game, but I think it uh, heals you and Refreshes your stamina and stuff like that, so it's always helpful. And we can just basically ask them. Now she does do a belly dance. Um, I can't remember if you can actually get her to do it or not. Kata, that's the race they're called. Kata are quiet, gentle people. Something else. Enough already. Okay, let's just get up and we'll get out of here. Now, there is a day and night uh, cycle in this game. I don't remember if it just cycles automatically or if there are certain things that you do to trigger it. Let's just walk around town and kind of get uh, acquainted with everybody. Um... So can we can we get up the stairs? He's really sleeping soundly and doesn't notice your presence. Okay, so they're just snoring away. Open the door. Okay, so let's go into here. So as you might be able to tell by the eyeball on the outside, and now that we're inside, this is where the magic person the magic shop, basically. Zora, that is her name. Here we have a variety of arcane objects. For example, scrolls covered with mysterious symbols and arcane 
incantations. Let's walk over here. This dude starts to freak out. And there is Zora. I am Zora, and my companion is Daminio. Uh, the items in this shop are designed for those skilled in the use of magic. So remember we put some points into magic, so we should be able to um, use some magic with this character. Let's ask about her companion. Uh, Daminio is both my familiar and my friend. We share our lives and our magic. Ask about the familiar. Familiar is a creature of magical abilities which has been summoned to serve the wizard. The summoning of the familiar is a most powerful spell and can be cast but once. It binds the wizard and the familiar to the ends of their lives. The more powerful the wizard, the more powerful the familiar, although you cannot always judge power by a familiar's shape. Else, magic. If you have skills of magic, you can learn ways to cast spells by reading magical scrolls. Without the skills, you have no power. The more you practice casting spells, the greater you shall become. I think I read that a little bit differently. But okay, so how do I buy something? Uh, maybe if I go into my inventory, do I have any money yet? I have four, four gold and ten silver pieces. Do this. Okay. So here are the different spells that we can buy. Um, I don't think we can afford any. Oh god! Okay. I don't know how the golds transfer into silvers or vice versa, but anyways, we can't afford it, so we're gonna continue on here. And away she goes. Okay, let's head over here. Get this door open. You enter the Adventures Guild Hall. This adventurer's guild hall reminds you of the one in your hometown, the traditional moosehead, and the other stuffed monsters, Soros, Troll, Griffin, Dragon, Cheetar, and the terrible Antwerps, adorn the walls. You see a registration book on the table and the bulletin board full of job listings. The man seated near the window must be the guild master, Kiss Noring. Sorry, some of this text is, like, a bit hard to read. Okay, so let's sign the, uh, adventurer's book. You sign your name into the adventurer's logbook with a flourish. Wow. The writing on this page is very recent. It says, I, Lord Nacho, have come to Spielberg to become a hero. Thus, okay, let's look at the, uh, board here. Before I wake up our guild master here. Reward for returning the lost ring. Inquire at the healers. This poster is rather dusty and faded. The picture is of a small child with braids. Reward of 50 gold coins for the safe return of Elsa von Spielberg. Inquire at the Spielberg castle gates. So this is our main mission actually right here. Reward of 30 gold coins for the capture or death of the brigand warlock. Description: Short, ugly, and wears brightly colored robes. Has a habit of laughing continually. Inquire at Spielberg Gate Castle. Castle Gates. Seeing as we do this, we're getting some uh, points as well for our score. Notice: Spell components needed. Cash or trade for potions. Inquire at the healers. Wanted, brigand leader. Description, unknown appearance, wears a cloak, must provide proof of leader's identity. Reward of 60 gold coins and title of hero of the realm. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. This poster seems to have been here for a while. It has a picture of a handsome but ignorant young man. Reward of 50 gold coins for information leading to the return of the baronet Bernard von Spielberg. Inquire at the Spielberg Gate. Castle Gates. Now, I don't know if there's, if you have to do all of them. I'm pretty sure you just end up doing them all. 
just because that's what you do in these games. Uh, but let's see. Let's talk to this dude. The old master appears to be hard of hearing. Perhaps you should get closer. Get closer. And he's snoring away. Ah, there he goes. Now he's waking up. Aka, I was so busy I didn't notice you come in. Welcome, welcome. It is so seldom that we have new adventurers here. Most people think this valley is cursed. What can we talk to him about? I'm gonna go through the dialogues here. I already read that. Ford. Killer. Castle. Else. Ooh, let's look at his trophies. Dalton and I killed most of the monsters on those walls, so that's the sheriff's. Dalton is the sheriff. Dragon, let's ask him about the dragon. One day years ago, a pair of dragons tried to take over our valley. We adventurers rode out to meet them. I can still see Stefan van Spielberg charging forward on his black horse. We slew that dragon whose head you see on the wall. And the other one flew off. Okay, so there's still a dragon left. I hear people see that other dragon flying overhead sometimes, but it has never dared to attack us again. So that's going to be this dragon right here, I'm assuming. Even in death, this monster remains awesome. The plague reads, Dragon, slain by Baron Stefan von Spielberg. Head of a panther's... Head like a panther's, but with the strong human-like quality. It is still rather frightening. Uh, Cheetar. Alright, so I think that's all we need to do in here for now. Let's head out. And he goes back to sleep immediately. Okay. I remember the music too in this game was, um... Crank it up just a little bit. I remember the the music in this game was was pretty awesome for the time, uh, as well. And after we get done this first playthrough, then we'll uh, we'll be able to adjust the settings more appropriately. We go to this door. The door is locked. If we look at, it, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a sign on the door. There's a sign on the door of the barber shop saying "Out to lunch." Okay, and then we have this lovely centaur lady here. Good day and welcome to Spielberg. Would you like to buy some of my nice fresh fruits and vegetables? Talk to her. Ask about the vegetables. We have many kinds of fresh vegetables for sale today. There are carrots, rutabagas, parsnips, and potatoes right from the ground for five, five for, five for a silver, okay. They are very good for you. We also have some apples. Okay, let's put our money bag on her. So just random vegetables or apples. Uh, let's go with apples. Carefully select 10 of the best apples from the barrel and pay Heidel? Hiddle? Heidi? Heidel? For our silver piece. I don't know how to say her names. Yeah, okay, let's go to this place now. This looks like a dry goods store, but it smells like a musty library. The stove feels nice on such a crisp day. Behind the counter and on the shelf, there are a variety of items for sale. The shopkeeper appears to ignore you while he reads a book. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you come in. Ah, you look like an adventurer. We don't see too many around here. The brigands tend to get rid of most of the adventurers before they make it to the town. I do try to stock some things adventurers can use. I actually would rather be an adventurer than a shopkeeper. My items are pretty ordinary though. You probably already have most of them if you have already done adventuring at all. Done any adventuring at all. Okay, let's see what he has to offer. Flask. I think we need a flask for something. So we're gonna buy a flask. There you are, thank you for your patronage. Now, do we have any weapons? Okay, so we do have a dagger. 
And we do have our lockpick. There is our flask that is empty. Five food rations. And we have ten small apples. Oh, and we do have... Do we have to equip this? I don't think we equip this. I think it's just... With these games, it's just it's just on you. Keep the money equipped. Okay, so we don't need anything else from here, I don't think. So let's get... You see a nicely furnished living room through the window. There's no response. The lock is of a simple type. Ah, let's keep that in mind for later. Okay. So now we have some notes on the wall. The shop seems to be closed, although there are some dried up cupcakes in the window. There's a sign on the door which says, Gone Fishing. The shop seems to be closed. There's a sign on the door which says "Gone Fishing." So basically, they didn't want to. They didn't have a need for these two stores, so they basically just said everyone has gone. There is the tavern, which we can check out in a moment. Uh, this is like there's this door has been closed for a very long time. I don't think you can get in there. I can't remember, but I I think that's just a closed off door. This grubby place must be an alley. It feels strange here, colder than the rest of the town. There are some barrows discarded here. A beggar holds out a bowl towards you. Alms, alms for the poor. I don't remember if we're supposed to give this dude money or not. If it actually benefits us or not. I think it increases maybe our luck or something. Let's, let's put the money on him. Let's be generous. Thanks, you know, it's really tough trying to make a living begging in this town since the brigands started carrying off all the trade. This used to be such a nice place to live. My advice to you is not to take up begging. You just doesn't pay. And don't go at, out at night. Okay. So I don't think we could talk to him unless we... There's honest work up at the Baron's castle I hear, but begging's my business, okay? You can get a job cleaning the stable. I understand. It's it's great if you want to build up muscles or have a place to spend the night, but you won't get rich. I'd rather beg myself. Okay, let's just keep asking them. My name is Sam. Talk about South. Heard Samaria. Silmaria. Silmaria is a good place to be. It's by the sea. I think I've heard, heard there... After this. I think I'll head there after this. Oh my god, this text is so hard to read. So that's actually, I think, where the second game takes place, if I'm not mistaken. Just keep talking. Ah, he's gonna stop talking. He wants more money, so we're gonna jet. A word of warning to you. Don't drink the dragon's breath. So the dragon's breath is a beverage that's available at the tavern here. And if you drink it, I pretty much think you end up dying. Uh, the, grimy, the grimy window lets little light into this tavern. It smells like a stale ale and other more unpleasant things. The floor is covered with dirt and the bar with sticky beer. Smoke appears to be rising from the center cask behind the bar. To your right are two gamblers playing cards. The bartender glares at you as you enter, and so does the ugly goon on the left. You get the impression that you are not welcome. See, now isn't this funny? Doesn't this look like the, uh, the, the baker and whatever the other place was? The butcher? Baker and butcher? Try to talk to them. <laughs> Let's ask them about fish. Mirror Lake to the south has a huge fish, but it's pretty dangerous. Got any... 56s? See, they're, they're playing Go Fish. That's kind of the, the joke. Okay, let's talk to this dude. Uh, the bartender is ignoring you. Maybe you... Oh, hold on. You see a crumpled up piece of paper underneath the stool. Let's grab that. Those guy, guys just kind of play as you walk around. You pick up the note. You smooth out the piece of paper and read... B. Starting to get suspicious. Hold off on our meetings for a bit, but I'll keep you posted by these notes. B. 
Let's sit down. Weird way to face, but okay. What do you want? So, so we get the dragon's breath. We can get the sweet ale, I guess, and then ale. We're gonna buy nothing though. Uh, cause that's just gonna be a waste of money at this point. Uh, how do I save my game? Barring. Oh, how do you... Okay, lag is real when we do save games. Okay, so now that we saved our game, let's buy Dragon's Breath. If you want to buy a Dragon's Breath, house rules say you'll have to cash up front. You cough up the cash. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Crusher, our friend here wants some Dragon's Breath. Alright, so let's see what happens here now. And of course, the Dragon's Breath is the one right in the middle with the big dragon head. Oh yes, and then we, we noticed the goose is dripping from this other one here. You've never tasted anything like it before. Ooh, wow. And we died. Maybe you really shouldn't have tried the dragon's breath. Better luck next time, and we hope you saved your game. So this game too was all about dying a lot. A lot of this was about trial and error. Talk to this dude. The drunken barber at oh Nair's the barber at the end of the bar isn't in any shape to talk, at least not coherently. We need to get up first. Okay, go talk to this dude. This is Crusher. The goon seems to be ignoring you. What's the password? Ooh. So basically, I think we need to find out what the password is first, and then we can come in. And uh, you'll see that he's standing on a trap door. I honestly don't remember where we find the password from, but uh, but we'll check it out. There's one individual who's associated with the Thieves Guild, and I think they may be the ones that we end up finding it out from. Okay, let's leave town and uh, take a little walk around and... See what's going on now this I'm gonna save a lot because basically if we run into an enemy we're gonna die at this point the breeze is cool but you have a feel but you feel a shiver deeper than just the cold you are really on your own now in a very dangerous place outside at last Okay, so I'm pretty sure the healer is up north, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so here's the healer. The bright smell of fresh herbs mingle, mingles with the aroma of wood smoke as you come up to a hut by the side of the road. And this game was all about the descriptors, right? The creature looks more like a small flying lizard than a bird. Here, we knock. You politely knock on the door. After a moment, you hear the inside bolt slide open. A voice from inside says, come on in. So this lady, we can gather ingredients for and sell them to her. And I think there's a couple of other things that we can do to uh, earn money from her. The fragrances of herbs mingle with some rather unpleasant odors as you step inside the healer's house. Lovely day, isn't it? My, you look very healthy for an adventurer. You must be new. What can I do for you? I can sell you healing potions if you'd like. I also buy spell components if you are interested in gathering some for me. Don't mind me, I always have so much to do around here. Okay, so let's ask her for what she wants. Uh, spell components. I always need ingredients for making potions. Right now I need some Arana, Arana's br uh, flowers. Let's say Arana's breath. Arana's flowers, magic mushrooms, troll beard, and let me think. Oh yes, cheetah claws. So those are some of those things are pretty dangerous to get. I'm gonna write them down here, uh, just so that I remember when we we're adventuring. Oh shit, she went to the next thing. Magic mushrooms, something about a troll, something, and cheetah source things too. I'm also. Buy back any empty flasks you have so that I can recycle them. Waste not, want to not, after all. Oh, we have an empty flask. 
that we just bought, so maybe we shouldn't have bought that. You see a variety of bottles and flasks of a wide variety of different potions. You see a winged lizard, much like the one you saw outside. Oh, Mandrake Root. Mandrake Root is used in a variety of spells, mostly for evil purposes. Mandrake must be pulled from a dead man's grave at midnight. The root is particularly powerful. Okay, so there's something else that we uh, should look out for. Oh, Trollbeard. There we go. And then the claws. Now, they are very difficult to kill, but I will pay two healing potions for the beard of a troll. Oh, nice. So we can actually get healing potions from killing baddies. Oh, by the way, if you happen to find a ring on your adventures, I lost my favorite gold ring. I will give a reward to the one who returns it. I think we read about that on the bounty board already. So there's the castle off in the distance. The road winds northward, northward towards a castle. So let's go to the castle. This is all a relatively safe area where we're not going to get attacked, I think. I think we have to announce ourselves to this dude. My name is Carl. Hey, Carl! Carl! Okay, let's go. This is the castle of Baron Stefan von Spielberg. Okay, can you just open... Open the gates for us? Oh, what was that? Baron von Spielberg, Spielberg lost most of his guards trying to defeat Baba Yaga. We'll meet Baba Yaga later. Just a minute while I raise the gate. Okay. There we go. Now he's raising the gate for us. In we go. Okay, so this is the sword master. He will teach us how to... He will train us, basically. He's the weapon master, that's it. I am the weapon master. Espec... Es Expert swordsman and trainer. Practice is the way to refine and improve one's skills. Friendship. Please don't bore me, young adventurer. Ask me about something more interesting. So I've got no interest in friendship. The skills of the sword are a thrust, swing, parry, and dodge. Timing of such actions is critical to the success of the right fighter. The weapon master lends you the necessary items and then. So now we're basically training. I don't know how much I just paid him. And the lesson begins. Oh god. I think- I don't know if this is only if we are, um... I don't know if this is only good if we're a fighter, though. The thing is, we're a thief. We've probably kind of just wasted some money. But we probably got a score to do this, so... I mean, that's not a terrible thing. Does the middle thing do anything? Like it. Oh! We're tired. The lesson wears you down and you become exhausted. Ah, uh, we take a little nap. Even as we fought, I could detect your skills improving through practice. It was most prudent that you should give me... Prudent that you give me your superior skill. Be more aware of the angle in which your weapon approaches your opponent. The thrust bites quickly, but the swing will do more damage if it can. Should we meet again, I would not be adverse to another go around. Farewell, friend. So now if we check our uh, our skills, which I think we do that with the tab button. Let's see. Nope, tab brings up our inventory. How do we bring up our stats? stats. Our stats? What is that? Leaps. Oh, here's some different things. I think that's maybe our stats. Yes. So anything in red has increased. Or sorry. Yeah, has basically changed. So as you can see, our stamina is at one. Our experience is at three. Uh, strength, intelligence, agility, and vitality, and luck all increase. Now, I don't think that was all... Ah, crap. I just hit that button, and that makes things go weird. Uh, it's this it's this program that I'm using and it just messes up some
Ah, oh, crap, if we do that, we've got this ad on the side. But well, that's just that's just telling us that it's using. Okay, let's do that. That works. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I just gotta get back. Now we're back. All right, so now uh, let's go to the left first. I know the stables are on the right, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, the stables are on this side. The guard looks like he is either very tired or very lazy. Oh no, this isn't the stable, is it? Let's see. I'm not here to answer your stupid questions. Go talk to Carl, the gatekeeper. He talks to anyone about almost anything. The bear axe. Okay, can we get in here? There's no answer to your knock. The guards must be asleep. Okay, so that guy doesn't want anything to do with us. Oh. Go away. This is just the bear axe for us guards. Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't think we can actually get in here, but let's talk. Castle, daughter, the Baron's daughter has been gone for years. Hey, my name is Frederick. Barracks, the barracks are off to my right, but you have no business going there. Ball, ooh, bald spot. Pierre's very proud of his moustache, but don't mention his bald spot. Okay. Baron. No one enters the castle without the Baron's permission. The Baron sees no one. Spot. Don't get me mad. What if I'm not talking to you? Oh no, we got him mad. Okay, let's see if we can actually go in. The door seems securely locked and barred from the inside. Let's just try to walk to it. No one enters the castle without the Baron's permission. Okay. Let's go to the stable. Ah, here's the stable. So here we can do work, and then we get paid for it. Yes, we're looking for some work. Good, come on in and take a rake. Now our stamina is only one though, so I don't know how well this is gonna go, but okay, we are doing it. We get like a little uh, diddly in the background here while we do it, the theme song. I tell Peter rest, get to work now. See, he's a slave driver. So this not only lets us, this, it gets us paid, but it also lets us sleep here too. You're so exhausted that everything you do hurts. Better get some rest. Now it's nighttime. I think by working, uh, by doing that particular segment, it makes it nighttime. The stable man now hands you some coins and says, you're now five silvers richer. Hooray. Now I think he'll let us sleep here too. Uh, stables. Well, stable used to be twice the size before it burned down. This is, this is fine with so few horses, but it is rather small. Can I not ask you for a place to sleep? Thought we could sleep. Let's see. Nothing to do here. Ah. Huh. Oh, hold on. Oh, we're just, that was us clicking on ourselves. Crap, I thought we could sleep at the uh, stable, but maybe we can't. Of course, let's just ask them about everything and see if the sleeping comes up. Else, uh, if we go up to here, hit this. All night. Curl up on some clean hay and get some rest. Okay, so you can. You just have to activate it through the sleep menu. You awake as the sun begins to rise. 
Yeah, that way too we get to avoid um being outside. It is a rude awakening, however. What do you think this is? A rest home? Get to work now. Okay, so he's putting us to work right away. Now, do we get- I, I'm wondering if we get paid again now. But even more interestingly, is our stamina going to be shot? Because there are certain things that you have to do uh, that require stamina, and other things that don't require stamina. But like, if we're going to do a fight or something like that and we have no stamina... Oh, nice, we did get uh, some monies for that. Uh, if we do get into a fight and we have no stamina, I think we're pretty much instantly dead. Let's see how much stamina we have left. Uh, we still have 14 stamina left, okay. Uh, okay, we just right click to get out of that. Okay, so now it's daytime, we can explore a bit more. Um... Exploring at night can be dangerous. Well, exploring any time during the day can be dangerous. Any time, any day, dangerous. Uh, so let's save again. Let's, let's just save over that one. And now let's do some exploring and... Uh, oh, so the other thing you want to do too, I forgot about this. Especially as a thief. Centaur stops raking as you approach. The other thing you want to do... You want to always be sneaking. Anytime you sneak, you actually increase your your sneak ability. I am Hendrik Preferderudern. I live in town with my daughter Heidel. Heidi. Heidi? Heidel. Hyde. Heidi. Hi, we'll just say Heidi. Who sells our produce at the Market Street. So this is where all the food comes from. Farmer's Market. Oh, hold on. That's about the market. The harvest. It's truly a sight to see. I don't think this guy gives us too much information about anything. Let's just exhaust our... Oh, he does a little bit. Oh, we got a point for that too. Then to my amazement, the leader gave me a healing potion and had me carried to the healer's house. It was hard to judge the leader, whose face was obscured by a large helm, but there was compassion unlike that expected from the brigands. Interesting. The healer lives just east of here. I know her already. Okay, let's keep sneaking. And that's the thing, you can just increase your uh, your speed and then your your sneaking looks like you're walking normally. Okay, this bush here looks a bit odd. Oh shit. Okay, so we're we're in a fight now. Not good. We're not doing too bad so far. Our stamina is going down like crazy though. Okay, we did it. Okay, so let's search him. You find five silvers concealed in a pouch. You take the silvers. Can we get his beard though? Or oh, that's not a troll though. Okay. Oh lord, they're everywhere. So this area is just full of them. It's Nickaroo, a real goblin. Okay, let's save it. Seeing as we had a uh, glorious victory there. Glorious victory. Okay, let's continue on here. Oh! at the corner of the valley. Uh, 
Oh, there was something coming out. We gotta be really... Oh. There seems to be abundant supply of blue and purple meeps. The only... If only they'd stay still for a moment, you'd be able to count them. So there's something that you have to do here, but I do not remember what it is. I think whatever it is, is something later on. So I don't think you can grab them or... Can we talk to them? Hold on, let's try to talk to them. You hear squeaking, muttering from beneath the ground. It seems the meeps are having quite the discussion about you. Hearing a rubble from the meep hole, you quickly split out of the way. Flip out of the way. Hey ya, hey ya, pleased to meet ya. Okay, so we can talk to him. We are happy meeps living in our happy holes. Don't worry, be happy. Rocks. We use rocks for doors. They keep us dry and warm in our holes. Holes. We like li we like live in tunnels under the ground, you know? Burr. Hey, like fur is good stuff. Keeps us warm. Mine's the best. It's like green, you know? Green fur. Oh, you want some green fur? I think I have some somewhere. I think we can give that to the healer, and I think she'll pay us for it. I don't know much about the uh, brigands. Found a scroll laying around in the woods one day. You want it? It's all yours. Ooh, nice! And we get a magic scroll. Okay. He's piecing out. Got some items to grab here, so the scroll. You pick up the spell scroll. As the magic runes fade, you find you now know how to cast the detect magic spell. Not forget the, the fur. Pick up the green fur. Okay, let's save that. Just save it over glorious victory. We're at the edge of there. We're just going to be careful because I don't want to run into any baddies. Oh, okay. Ooh, we needed some magic mushrooms, didn't we? You pick up a handful of smaller mushrooms and carefully put them away into your backpack. How, much, how many of these can we grab? We just sell like a whole bunch to the lady. We have 39 mushrooms. Okay. So let's just keep picking some, I guess. And um, we'll see how much we can sell to the healer. I'm sure there'll be a cap, but at least we'll have tons and tons of mushrooms. Okay, let's save that again. Oh, beautiful white stag. I know we're not supposed to approach this thing. Oh, we can cast magic now. You detect a strange magical aura, 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 aura. Oh my God, I can't speak today in this place. Seem to have startled the white stag. There's something that we do with that stag later on, but uh, I don't remember what it is. Let's try to follow it. Ah, here we go. You follow the stag into this forest corner. You feel as though your eyes of the forest, or you feel as it, though the eyes of the forest are following you. 
You watch the stag fascinated with his grace and beauty. There is something special about this place. The large gnarled oak seems to draw your attention. Approach it. The tree woman speaks. I am Di Dryad, keeper of the woods. Are you one with the woods? Let's say yes. Then you shall aid me, and I shall aid you in your quest. Bring me a seed from the spore-spitting Spiria of the north, that I may plant it elsewhere in order to preserve these rare and magical plants. Thus will be, you will become a true friend of the forest. Okay, so another, another objective for us to do. Can we talk to the tree more? You'd better adler your strategy. The trees mostly just breach about their more popular neighbors, or pine fir... The Fajors. Okay. A. This game is also full of a bunch of puns, dude. Just FYI if you haven't noticed that already. What if we touch it? Alright, so we need uh, spores for tree. Spores for tree lady. Let's save it. For lady. And our sneaking keeps disappearing. Sneak. I'm gonna go as south west as possible. Oh, what's that? By golly, it's an Antwerp. Antwerps are, are on the endangered species, species list. They are rarely seen. Oh shit, I don't know what to do here. I don't know if I can die for the, from the sky or not. Let's just resave it over that. What happens if we approach it? You bravely attack the bouncing beast with your bare hands. We try to throw something at it? Oh. Oh, it just turns into a piece of paper. Okay. Let's try to throw the, the dagger at it. Okay, so we're gonna be able to fight it or not? Let's see what happens. Confident and loose, you approach the Antwerp. Your figure remains still and silent. The old ticker just couldn't keep going. Maybe you shouldn't have missed the annual visit to your local healer. Is that because we ran out of stamina, maybe? Not sure. Oh, he's, now he's just completely black. Okay, well, we're just going to leave him for now. We'll come back. I think we have to learn a spell or something in order to interact with that dude. I'm completely lost as to where how to get back to town. Oh, I think there was something coming from the north. I have a bad feeling about this place. Oh boy. I have an even worse feeling about this place. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Okay. Oh, well, that's basically the, the, the... Brigand's base, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's take this opportunity to... Rest. How do we rest again? Uh, let's rest for 30 minutes. So we don't want the bigger and the big brig brigands because that will that's like end game content. Uh, we don't want to be. 
We will die miserably. Oh, hold on. It's the log here. The hollow log looks somberly, somberly back with its single giant eye. Oh, like it's looking back at us. And you know at once that there's nothing to be gained by investigating this gaunt relic. Oh, it looks like there's something in it, though. Guess not, though. Okay, let's go south now. I don't want to do that. A walking pace is more appropriate for enjoying... Okay. It's an interesting area. You see your own reflection in the crystal clear waters. Oh, what if we use our flask? Can we grab some, scoop up some water here? You fill the flask with the clear lake water. Okay, cool. To the north on a cliff, you see a cave. Get out of here, there we go. I think this should be the cave that we were just looking at. It is. The roar of the the roar of the waterfall fills your ears, and the cold spray dampens your face as you approach. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna end the uh, end it right there for just now. We'll pick up uh, again. Again, uh, I'm Nacho, and you can find my channel Nacho Cheese Bear on Twitch and all the normal social medias uh stay tuned for part two if you guys enjoy this please let me know and i will keep doing them uh have a wonderful day and until next time